Okay, so I talked in the last video about the Megalodon teeth and you did hit me up. You know, I did mention that I had one day where I actually found five uh, very nice teeth and uh, with friends we've picked out eight total within a very short, maybe 50, 100 yard section of beach. This was my best day ever at what was the Lee Creek Mine. So I told the story earlier about this beautiful little tiger burlet tooth found in some James uh, City overburden and really it's out of the uh, Yorktown formation that was just underneath. This was an, a trash find. Somebody had uh, stomped on it, didn't realize or didn't care about ray teeth or dental play, plates. plates. Uh, They're looking for probably just fast tracking looking for big things just sticking out and not caring uh, to slow down and maybe possibly see little things. So I honestly forget the order of when I found what. I believe that was first in the morning. Then I found that tooth. Um, again, these pictures are from old flip phones so I'm amazed that the quality is still pretty good but I had created these images um, for displays so uh, a few of you may notice these from being on display at uh, the Delaware Valley Paleontological Society the DVPS um, they have an annual fossil fair and I usually put out one or two or three um, exhibits so folks can just see what kind of fossils are out there. So I had already had a great day finding these two. And again, I think I found this first and then found that and thought my day couldn't get any better. I was always high grading when I was in the mine. I would carry in uh, one, if not two, five gallon buckets and you could just go along while you were in this mine and just pick up um, bone after bone after bone. Uh, because it was dumped by these huge uh, machineries, you know, they, these, these scoops on these drag lines uh, where the scoops contained enough sediment to fill a two-car garage. They were just massive. And when that sediment just hit uh, from being dropped the 80-some feet, it just spread out everywhere, exploded. So it was really hard to find uh, associated material um, outside of what was in the Pungo, which... Pungo has that really uh, nice coquina or limestone. The rest of the stuff is mostly clayey, sandy shell beds. But uh, this day I had stopped. And, you know, you've heard this in some of my other videos. You stop, you slow down, you take a break, you take a breather, you reset. And I leaned over and looked into a block, a huge block of clay next to me. Uh, it's not from the typical Yorktown clay and so I wasn't really paying attention to it and I looked over and saw the start of two vertebra and I started digging and digging and digging and this is what I ended up with basically a whale's tail so there's one two three four five six seven eight uh, and a decent amount of a ninth vertebra um, they're young you can see that the caps are loose, so this was still a juvenile. Uh, according to Dr. Dooley at the Virginia Museum of Natural History, the shape of these claudial vertebra going from this almost squarish and then building rather largely, uh, he believes this is a sperm whale. So I was really excited to actually find an associated remain of sperm whale. Um, of course, I'd rather have the other end of it. I would much rather have the head with teeth uh, than a uh, tail, uh, you know, the whale butt. But um, I was just dumbfounded. So I dumped out all the bones that I had in my bucket, started digging this thing out. Uh, that knife, some of you uh, Semper Fi people might remember that. That was my father-in-law's um, knife from his days in the Marine Corps. And that was my trusted uh, tool out in the field for many a year. 
But this, uh, like I said, you would have seen this on exhibit a couple times at the DVPS. This was the best day of collecting I ever had um, where I was in the field able to keep everything myself. I've been able to find some really cool things uh, that have gone to the Calvert Marine Museum. But as for me, uh, being able to collect such a amount of quality and quantity, um, I don't think I'm ever going to beat this day unless we ever get back into that Lee Creek mine.